you know one of those days when people complain about oh so i finished my makeup and i couldn't get any pictures and i couldn't get any videos you know at that point where you are finished doing your makeup in fact you guys did a lot of transition videos and it was so green so well and the beginning of the transition like you guys did a lot and your client was giving you so many vibes and everything you did a very beautiful and nice makeup and everything when you were getting done it was a rush moment that you couldn't even snap a single picture yeah that is what happened to me in this bride but before we get into that video let me explain to you guys what i did on this makeup before we get into the fact that i couldn't get a single picture a single video from this makeup look okay guys so my name is ifi artistry if this is your first time seeing my video you are highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming by okay guys so first of all i started with cleaning my client's face so she came in with uh, so much energy and so much brightness and everything is going on well she's so happy and i'm happy too so we get on started so i cleaned her face and we dry it up with fan then over to moisturizer so i'm moisturizing her skin with the snail chorus moisturizer so i'm going to be hydrating her skin with that of course she has a very beautiful beautiful skin and the skin is looking popping and all beautiful guys as i was talking about it uh, you know the reason why I, I think we spent so much time filming the um transitions it was so beautiful like guys it really still haunts me till today that i couldn't get the final videos from that transition like it still pains me a lot because my client was giving me so much vibe honestly so but it is what it is <laughs> i can't kill myself so um as i was saying um i just okay yeah back to the makeup look <laughs> back to the makeup video okay guys so as uh, i i play i i applied my moisturizer and i'm blending it into the skin yeah and um, after applying that moisturizer i'm going to go ahead with another moisturizer because of course like i i love hydration and you know in the uk here like the the weather gets very very dry so of course i i want her to have enough hydration on her face okay guys so after that i'm going to be going in with this embroidery moisturizer yeah that's the second moisturizer so i'm placing that on her face everywhere on her face you can see the hydration guys you can see the, like the hydration is blind blinding it's killing like honestly the hydration is really beautiful like i'm done blending in and you can see how the skin is popping with glow after that i'm going to be going ahead with this um um what is it called hydro grip primer is a grip primer that will grip down your makeup to your face one of the best primers out there i promise you that yeah you quote me right so i'm just I, I apply that all over the face and i'm going to just you know like blend it into the skin as well using my hand to blend it i'm going to avoid the under eyes guys make sure you avoid that when you are doing this process okay guys so after that i use the becca primer i'm not really doing too much with becca primer these days because why do you even need to put on a becca primer to mattify the face honestly nobody's going to sweat in this country it's really cold they don't need to sweat they can't sweat i'm telling you okay but that is it. it is what it is i'm still trying to control i'm not even talking about sweat i'm, I'm talking it's supposed to be oil that's by the way so i'm just trying to control the oil what i was talking about i don't even put on the face in this country is the sweat control they don't sweat in this country okay guys so um moving on to foundation i mi i mix two foundations like this l'oreal true match foundation have been a foundation that i love to use so much so i miss l'oreal true match foundation and um nas yeah because i i wanted her to have this creamy finish look yeah guys so i just um place the foundation on the face i mix it and i place it on the face and i'm blending it into the skin just gradually doing my thing and i'm just blending and everything is coming on together everything is coming out together and everything is so beautiful and everything is so nice she's looking beautiful as always like the skin is popping the foundation is giving everything is just looking so fine and we keep moving okay guys so i just do i'm just doing my blending and you know like and um i did everything so after blending the foundation into her skin i just have to make sure that i blend this very very well after that i go ahead with the concealer so i'm using the nuban beauty concealer in the shade 043 that's the first shade i place in the inner corners in her inner corners of the eyes and inner parts of everywhere i'm going to place my concealer so after that i got the concealer from zikiel cosmetics 
yeah that's the second concealer i'm going to use in the shade zikel cafe honestly if you ask me the reason why i got a zikel cafe right now I, I don't i wouldn't know because like my client is not dark so after using the zikel cafe i got the next shade which is caramel it's still equally dark honestly because i'm feeling like because i added something very very light and then apart i should use something darker to subdue it but still the concealers i added they, they were too dark so i don't even know the reason why i should be using those shades they don't it doesn't make sense to me you know so but anyway why i continue doing this is because i'm, I'm like if at the end of the day it got, it's too dark i'm going to brighten it up so whatever <laughs> okay guys so yeah by that's by the way so i just go ahead and start blending this out um but actually one thing that happened is that i realized that they just gave me her skin tone like it didn't really do too much there is no too much brightness under the eyes like it was just there it just gave me what it's supposed to give like there is no nothing like mistake it was just what it's supposed to be because the concealer that i had under her eyes was too bright you can see like it was not even as if i i did conceal you know like it's just there okay guys so after that i did contour her face i used my foundation mixed foundations together to get her contour shade so i did contour her face and i love how the contour came out on her because it just gave me the warmthness that i'm looking for yeah everything was just so good it warmed up her face yeah just you know the contour was not too much it was just there as well not just there the contour was pronounced and um yeah i love that i loved how the contour turned out yeah i love how it turned out so so you can see just you can see how it just sculpted her cheekbone like it is is looking so beautiful and nice and i love that you know so after that i'm just going ahead i'm just doing that and i'm blending into the skin as well and everything so after that i'm going to contour her nose as well turning from the um beginning of the brows downwards of course you know you guys know how i do it so i'm just going to run through with the white shape and then downwards yeah sure <laughs> okay guys so moving on i'm just going to after do that doing that i'm going to go ahead and blend that out blend out the you know like the lines and everything okay guys so after that is now time for me to blush so i'm added my blush i'm using the wash me blush from tm essentials uh that's the name of the i don't know i, I can't even forget the name of this blush is <laughs> wash me blush so so i just added that on her cheekbones and i don't know like the blush was not just too much and i loved the i love the tone i love the tone of the blush so i love the undertone of the blush it was is giving like yeah wash me blush <laughs> something like that so after that i was done i have to go ahead and just you know conceal the remaining things under the eyes guys yeah so when i begin to conceal this you know the concealer that i added like from the beginning of the uh, under eyes it was actually on the tear dot area rather not beginning of the under eyes so on the, on the tear dot area was actually very very light okay so when i blended that out that actually pronounced the highlight you know so it, it pronounced the highlight so i don't even need to brighten that place up i just need to go with the flow because it's brightened it up you know guys it's actually very good for you to know what you're doing honestly i promise you guys so after that because i've fallen in love with setting the face with milani compact powder so i'm using the milani compact powder to set guys i don't know probably you guys have to pray for me to actually get myself back and set with my setting powder but i don't know i don't even know what is going to make me change from using this compact powder to set the under eyes because i'm already getting addicted to it okay guys so moving on i just go ahead and set the rest of the highlighted areas the under eyes the forehead the cheekbone the jaw and the nose bridge definitely so i'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of those places with the same powder and oh my god i love the outcome of this i love how it looks i love how it feels on the face you know i love how it feels when i was doing this i was looking at it i'm like mm, am i even sure i'm okay with that but yeah i'm okay with it because now looking at it now i know that this is just good it's good like it feels good yeah sometimes when you are doing the makeup you that is doing the makeup might be looking at it and you feel like it's not coming together but i promise you just continue doing it because it's going to better come together 
Okay, guys, so moving on, I'm just going to set the rest of the face. I'm setting my contour. I set the um, draw, um, the low light. No, I did whatever. I don't know what they call it anymore. So I just go ahead and set the rest of the face, definitely. So I'm setting the contour with a darker shade, contour shade, actually. So, yeah, so just set everywhere and make sure that everything there's all the liquid effect on the face is gone so i'm going to equally go ahead and, and set my blush back because yeah so when i did set the contour some part of that actually went out so i'm going to go ahead and re-emphasize on it so that it comes out like, pretty strong okay guys so moving on i'm just you know running everything back together i'm going to equally be contouring the nose yeah she actually has a very a beautiful nose and all that so guys after that i'm going to be drawing my brows drawing her brows so i'm going to first of all start with outline i'm um, sorry um combing out the hairline her hairline and all just you know combing them up and equally i'm going to be taming them down as i'm combing i'm taming them down with my brow tamer so yeah basically so I equally taming them down i'm going to equally as i'm taming i'm slicking it down as well so after that i'm going to use my setting powder and set it at a place so after setting i equally go ahead and dust out the setting powder so it's actually quite a lot of things to do under the eyes before i begin to outline brows yeah of course i was not going to do the same mistake i did with the other person i did make up yeah because <laughs> i didn't do what i was supposed to do and yeah he came back to hurt me so sorry so after doing that guys i begin to outline the brows i'm going to be using the again esther brow gel of course to outline my brows this is it guys i don't know if i'm actually going to i'm actually going to ever get not get used to that brow gel so the brush i'm equally using is from merak cosmetics i will always pronounce this word merak very well because guys yeah that brand is one of the sweetest angled brush that i've seen so far so after that i equally fill out with this davis pencil honestly coming to this country i didn't come with a lot of davis pencil i'm hoping that i'm not going to run out of my pencil and then i'm going to be stranded i hope that doesn't happen though okay guys so um moving on i'm just going to fill out the brows and uh yeah so filling out is actually done and everything is looking amazing so after that i'm going to go ahead and conceal you know when i do my brows this way i love how the brows do look honestly i love how the brows look because i don't know i just love how it looks i love how the brows come out honestly i don't know what actually prompted me not to do brows like this sometime in the past i don't know but that is never going to happen again okay guys so i'm concealing the brows of course the angled brush is equally from merak cosmetics and my concealer is from nuban beauty and equally from zikel so the darker shade is from zikel and the lighter shade is from nuban beauty yeah okay guys so all these things that i keep mentioning they are nigerian brands of course i know that Niger a lot of nigerians are watching my videos <laughs> yeah but i'm just saying it for people that don't really know okay guys so moving on i you are going i'm going i'm equally doing the same uh, concealing to the other the other uh, eyes you know so that is it basically just you know doing my thing okay guys so after that i went ahead i got the other side and i concealed the upper part of the brows and i set and that was off camera moving on i'm going to start doing creating the eyeshadow i'm just i don't know where i'm the video is actually very fast i don't know <laughs> i'm actually applying the primer from benai clone white i'm using the benai clone white eyeshadow base to apply my primer i'm just making sure that i placed everything there like i placed everything uh, i placed the primer there and it's really well blended just you know i'm equally going to go ahead and buff out the edges because of course the edges have to be well blended out in order not to you know like cost me any issues so after that i probably go ahead and start creating on the transition yeah the transition is very very important because i have to blend the transition out so that i can easily create my eyeshadow the eyeshadow look i was creating was requested for my by my clients like she sent it to me and like she's she wanted this eyeshadow look and all that so the only thing is that i think we changed the we changed the color to a nude shade later i don't know but like we did what she wanted 
hot. Okay, guys. So moving on, I'm going to be baking because, of course, yeah, I forgot to bake. Yeah, that's bad. That's actually one of the implications of not working with my assistant. Okay, because my assistant would have actually remembered. So I forgot to bake and I started doing the eyeshadow and I realized that something is missing and I remember is that I, I didn't bake. So I have to do that because I don't I don't want any fallout on her face. Okay, guys. So moving on. I'm just going to go ahead. I, I just continue blending the eyeshadow and I'm creating the transition and I'm equally adding a darker shade in the outer part with my transition, you know. So after adding that, I'm going to go ahead and place the main eyeshadow. So of course, like I told you guys, we sort out for a nude shade instead of the, I, I don't, I can't remember the color she shows. So we just opt for this because of time. Um, there was no much time anymore, so she she was just like, you know what, just to create a simple eyeshadow anymore, just create a nude something, don't do the too much of extra anymore and all that. I'm like, okay, cool, that's fine. So we are just doing that, and I, I didn't really know that it was actually because of time she was even asking me not to do that because I was still taking my time to create the eyeshadow and all that because of how she was very persistent on, you know, like, yeah, I want my look this way and I don't want my look this way. So guys after that i just go ahead and i created the under eyes had it been she was in a rush guys probably i wouldn't even do the under eyes yeah i could have actually been faster yeah because i at this point i was just still like being quiet and uh, not not quiet yeah of course i know she was going somewhere and i was still creating the look but uh, you know like there's something like i was really not in a rush the rush thing came to me as a shock <laughs> the the rush thing came to me as a shock and i was really surprised so um i was still we're still cool i was still doing the makeup and you know creating i aligned her eyes and we took i took my time i lined the eyes i'm lining the eyes with my gel liner and everything and my my brush is just a random brush anyway you don't really you can use any brush and line your eyes honestly anything that works for you is fine so guys and when i was lining this eyes so i stopped and actually guys this is actually the place i stopped filming this was the end and my clients actually run off like honestly we stop here and she's like yeah i have to go i'm like i was thinking it was a joke he's like i have to go honestly i have to go i'm like would you go with her face she's like yeah i have to go honestly i am really in a rush and i have to go i have to literally hold her down and apply her lip gloss like lipstick i don't even know like it was just like lip gloss honestly <laughs> i have to hold her down like i have to please please just allow me to finish your lips I have to dust out like everything on her face and just lips and spray and i was just literally holding her on the door to actually apply the lips so it was really not funny and she was really very apologetic about it i, I understand I, I really understand it's pain me that i didn't get the let video for my transition though <laughs> but it is not actually her fault because she was really in a rush she, they are calling her and all that so this is why i stopped and i decided to share the video bye